Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here. Another car video. And the topic of this video is don't take approaching women too seriously. But before I get into that video, or the, into the video, I do want to say um, this channel is about helping men and women be the best they can be in all aspects of their lives. I know I talk about a lot of dating and relationships here, uh, topics here on this channel, or at least I have been right now. But there's more than th just that when it comes to being the best you could be in all aspects of your life. You have the health, the wealth, and the mindset as well. So uh, that's what this channel is all about, helping you guys be the best you could be, both men and women, in all aspects of your life. And we got that out of the way. But, you know, I know we got some new people here. Welcome. And I know we got some people who've been here for a while. Welcome. If you haven't already, um, subscribe, hit the notification button. And if you like my videos or if you just want to support me, hit that like button. I definitely appreciate it. So let us get back into the video. So don't take approaching women too seriously. So it's uh, kind of a, a pretty important topic because obviously a lot of guys, they like women and you know, when it comes to getting women, the easiest way to truly do it is approaching, you know, cold approach, or even if it's somebody, you know, you know, that could be a little nerve wracking as well. You're going from a new transition. If you, you really take it too, um, too much to heart, and think about it too much, it could be really nerve wracking, you know, for most guys. But at the end of the day, it is definitely something that you got to do, even if you want to, you know, uh, do it on um, the dating apps. You know, you got to have a, an idea what you're doing. You know, what I mean, you don't want to just get a long winded conversation or it goes dead. And, you know, what I mean, again, you don't want to take it too seriously, especially on dating apps, but even more so when it comes to cold approach, because, you know, it's just not that serious. I'm going to give you, uh, you guys, what, five tips here as to how come you shouldn't take the dating or approaching of women too seriously. First tip, you have to always assume all women want you. Very crucial. If you assume you, she wants you, you know what I mean? It's like, hey, you're doing her a favor. You know what I mean? So the pressure is really not on you anymore. It's on her, you know, and and then she has to really come up to your level because whenever you have that truly believe that the woman you're approaching or the women you approach like you and they want you, you already feel like, hey, it's in the bag. You know what I mean? Even if it doesn't go well, it's her loss, you know, so... That's a very powerful mindset to have, assuming all women want you before you approach. Another thing you want to do is have fun. Again, <laughs> you don't want to take the approach too serious. Have fun. Crack jokes. Be loose. You know what I mean? That is what you want to do to have, again, elevate your energy some more. You know what I mean? So it's, it's like, again, it's not on you. It's on her. You know, and it doesn't mean just because it's on her that she wants to, like, uh, demean her or try to uh, uh, put pressure on her with your words or your actions. You still got to be relaxed. You still want to have a, a, a nice, relaxed, interesting conversation. And even if it's not a real conversation and it's all about what you want, you know, it should be relaxed. It shouldn't be forced. It shouldn't be aggressive. It should be firm, but not aggressive. You know what I mean? It's a very, 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 very distinct difference. You know, aggressive is more uh, attacking and forcing, while firm is saying what you want, but not needing uh, to get what you want, if that makes sense. You know, you just kind of let it out there. You know, so uh, number three, 
third tip here have a plan before approaching the woman so some people like to go into it no plan but ultimately there's always a plan because even if you're a guy who just wants to see how the interaction goes your plan whether you're aware of it or not is to make sure the interaction is going well and if the interaction is going well then you escalate and then you move up you know you get the number or maybe you go on an instant date or maybe you go for the full close you know if it's really going well she's really feeling you but for guys who who aren't that advanced um you can always be like hey maybe i want to get her number you know what i mean or hey maybe i want to give her my number or hey i want to go on an instant date have a direction you know you want to take the interaction so that way you don't ramble for one and two you don't get lost in the conversation meaning or you don't lose your train of thought and you don't lose um uh what to say and what you're saying you have an idea you know you don't just go blank and lose uh, the, the conversation you know and it's kind of awkward pause and then you know she walks away and then it's over you know you want to have a, a direction where you're going so you have steps you got to take in order to get what you want and again if she does not follow through you just move on and that leads me into actually the fourth point so if the uh, interaction doesn't go how you want it to go or she's not who you thought she was you have to move on and if it doesn't go well just realize there are other fish in the sea the abundance mindset is crucial but that is very important because again it's gonna make you realize if it didn't go well hey it's okay it's not a big deal you know what i mean that's the mindset you always want to have if it doesn't go well okay she wasn't for me I will find a woman who is more for me and you will go out there and move on. You do not want to be getting stuck on things that don't go well because it's not, it's not on you. It's really on her. At the end of the day, whatever she going through, whatever she got going on, that's her, you know? So I always realize that, yeah, interactions that don't go well, it's okay. Because there's other fish in the sea. The other fish who will love you for you and really find you sexy, attractive, want to go on a date with you, want to potentially get in a relationship with you, you know, um, potentially, you know, have sex with you. Whatever you're looking for, there are women out there who want to do that, who want to do that with you too. And looking for, looking to do that with you too. You just got to find them. You know what I mean? You just got to find them. So uh, my last fifth final tip is always realizing that rejection is not a reflection of who you are. Rejection is not a reflection of who you are. You know, a lot of guys take rejection really seriously, you know, and that's the key when it comes to them taking approaching a woman too seriously because they don't want to get rejected because they take the rejection so personal but they have to understand that is not a reflection of who you are just because that girl didn't like you or she didn't want to have a positive interaction with you or she was difficult whatever it was or even if you messed up and you kind of stuttered or you kind of lost your train of thought or you said something weird it doesn't matter because there's women out there who would enjoy that. May not be the woman you like, but there are women out there who would enjoy that. You know, but ultimately reflection or rejection is a reflection of where you have to get better. You know, and it doesn't mean that you're a miserable person. It doesn't mean you suck with women. It doesn't mean no woman will ever like you. It doesn't mean that, um, you know, you just uh, should never talk to a woman again or never approach a woman again. That's not what that means. It just means you have to get better. You know what I mean? You want to learn from your mistakes and learn from the interactions. 
You know, it's part of having a plan, you know, um, things that you did that she liked, keep on doing them. Not all women are going to like them, but if that one woman liked them, there will be other women who, who liked them as well. And of course, things that you, that you did that she didn't like, again, not all women are going to dislike them, but if that woman didn't like them, that thing that you did, there will be other women who didn't like, who won't like them as well. You know, but bottom line is. You have to understand rejection is all about learning and rejection is not a reflection of who you are. Don't take rejection personally. Because again, like I said in the previous tip, you never know what that, that girl's going through. You never know what's going on. You know what I mean? And, and just because she rejected you doesn't mean other women will or all women will. You know, so uh, yeah. That is all I got for y'all today. Those are my five tips for y'all and reasons you guys should not take rejection too, with women too seriously. Of course, uh, let me know whether you agree or disagree with my tips. Let me know if I missed some. Um, let me know uh, if you like my tips or if you did it, you know, you think they're BS, you know, of course. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. And if you don't like the video, let me know in the comments how come you didn't like the video so I can improve the video. Because again, this channel is not for me. I created the channel, but it was to help you guys be the best you can be in all aspects of your life. You know, not just the dating relationship, but the mindset, uh, the wealth, the health, all that stuff. So you can be the best, you know, so let me know. Um, uh, what what do you what you uh, do you think about the topic? You know what I mean, and what I the tips I brought out, and of course, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. You know, and again, not just dating relationships, health, wealth, and mindset. Let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. And you know, I wanted to also say if you do find value in this video, you know, I definitely appreciate donations. Of all sizes, it doesn't matter. It just, but only if you found value in the video. You know, so that is very important for the channel, but also for you. The more you give, the more you receive. But only if you found value in the video. You know, I mean, but I guess that is all I got for y'all here today. You know, till next week, y'all stay safe. I appreciate y'all. You know, being here on this journey with me as this channel grows, we're, we're still baby channel right now, but we're we going to keep on growing. I guarantee you that we will keep on growing. You know, so till next week, y'all stay safe. I'll see y'all then. And always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.